From Aurora, police chief called the photos mocking the arrest of Elijah McLean sickening. McLean died after police put him in a chokehold and a paramedic injected him with a powerful sedative. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas reports tonight on the new developments out of Aurora. Sickening, the same words the public has used to describe some actions by Aurora police, now so too is the chief. That we are ashamed, we're sickened, and we're angry. The anger swarming the community has now made its way into the Aurora Police Department. I am disgusted to my core. Friday, Aurora Police released agree. two disturbing photos, one of more concern, as it shows three officers smiling at Elijah McLean's memorial. Two of them reenacted a carotid control hold, which is what was administered on Elijah that night. It is a crime against humanity and decency. To even think about doing such a thing it is beyond uh, is beyond comprehension and it's reprehensible. It shows a lack of morals, values, and integrity, and a judgment that I can no longer trust to allow them to wear this badge. Officers Erica Marrero, Kyle Dietrich, and Jaron Jones were fired for conduct unbecoming. Jones was the only to resign. I want to tell him I appreciate you doing the right thing. I appreciate you realizing what you have done and what a despicable act and what you have brought upon this nation, upon this family, and you have embarrassed law enforcement yet again. Officer Jason Rosenblatt, who was involved in McLean's arrest, was also fired after receiving the photos and responding with ha ha. And to say ha ha when he was engaged in the incident with Elijah McLean is absolutely unacceptable. Aurora police have since added more gates and boarded up their windows, anticipating more rounds of protests heading into the weekend. In Aurora, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Dylan, thank you. Right now,